Hello, welcome to lecture number three uh, of sampling distribution and testing of hypothesis. This is Professor Ampioli, Professor of Mathematics, GIT Belagami. This will be model number four for KLS GIT Belagami students and may be useful for other college students also. So in lecture number one and two of this topic, uh, sampling distribution and testing of hypothesis, uh, we saw that in the first part for large samples, given a sample, whether it is either it belongs to the main population or not, or given two samples, whether they behave similar or not, or given two samples, whether one is superior to second for large samples, that is n sample size greater than 30. Then second set, we studied that if a small samples are there n less than 30, then whether uh, similar questions are answered, which is under the t distribution or student's t distribution. The third part is altogether different, which is known as chi-square test. We shall see by looking to those chi-square test examples. Here we go, here. In chi-square test, what we do is, chi-square is a major of correspondence between theory and practical observation. So you do many practical examples, practical observations. In practicals, you take many data. Those data, you fit some curves but there is a theory behind it. For example, there is a Grieger Mendel theory in botany. Some ratio is there. But when you actually take samples, that ratio may vary a little bit. But whether the variation is very high or not, exactly whatever the theory is there, 100% the observations never match. But within the stipulated tolerance limit, if they match, the theory is accepted. Like instead of 50 as average, if it is 49.3, 50.6 average, it is well and good. For example, on and average, suppose the greatest batsman Sachin Tendulkar average is 65. If, if he scores between always 60 and 70, it is accepted as that his average is okay. Between 65 to 70 when he is scoring, his average is 65. Similarly, in many practical and theory, we see that the observed frequency, whether they match the theory or not. So a lot of interesting examples are there. Whether the given curve, what we have fit is correct or not, it is good or not. That is what is known as goodness of fit. So testing of goodness itself is the main weapon for testing of goodness if itself is chi-square test. Very, very useful test. So now, there are two types of data. One is observed, practically observed frequency, that is observed O. One is estimated theoretically EIs, OIs. Using these for a sample of size n, we find some statistic. This uh, symbol itself is chi square, it is not square term. Symbol itself is chi square. The name is a CHISQARE, pronounced it as chi square. So, what is the test? The, all these tests are something like chemistry tests. Using this, we conclude okay, whether this is happening or not happening. For the assumption, whatever you have done, it is true or false. Always any practically started an assumption. And we find the conclusion or inference after observations with the previous knowledge, that is comparison with some standard data. Now, similarly here, I start with uh, using this uh, test statistic. We go with the uh, first example, a die which is having a cube of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is used for snake and ladder. Uh, instead of this, I am going for second example. Excuse me for that. Amongst 64 offsprings of a certain uh, pigs, that is 34 were red, 10 were black, and 20 were white. Suppose 64 out of 64 pigs, there are three categories, red, black, and white. But on and average, the theory tells that they should be, any sample should be having the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 4. You collect a sample of 60 or 100 or 1000. The sample should be 34, 10, 20. That is red is to black is to 20. This sample may not be exactly following this law, but whether, whether it is almost following the law or not, that we are going to test. According to the genetic model, these numbers should be in the proportion of 9 is to 3 is to 4. Is the data consistent with the given model of observation? At 5% level, already you know what is meant by 5% level of significance or you're talking with 95% of confidence. Now, how we go? Given observations are 9, 3, given 
observations are 9 plus 3 plus 4 out of 16 picks the theory tells that 9 3 4 should be the red white red black and white proportions now 9 picks out of 16 3 picks out of 16 4 picks out of 16 for red black white so simple arithmetic out of 64 according to the theory what should happen for 16 there are 9 for 64 according to theory 36 but according to observed frequencies observed frequencies 34 so there is a small difference between practical observed frequency and theoretical now out of 3 out of 16 3 are black out of 16 3 are black but out of 64 theoretically there should be 12 so theoretical frequencies are 36 12 16 theoretical frequencies are 36 12 16 observed frequencies red black white 34 10 20 so both we calculated for 64 so given theoretical was for out of 16 but we connoted the data for out of 64 picks just like we cannot out of 100 if at all you want to connot out of 100 you would have multiplied by 100 here that is percentage instead of out of 100 you can cal calculate out of 1000 simply you have to multiply out of 1000 so here we want out of 64 so out of 64 out of 64 out of 64 we found observed frequency theoretical frequency now how to find the test statistic chi square oi minus ei means difference of these two 34 minus 36 square 34 minus 36 is minus 2 whole square is plus 4. 10 minus 12 whole square minus 2 square is plus 4. 20 minus 16, 4. 4 square is 16. For each of them, divide by corresponding EIs. 4 by first one, 36. 4 by 12, 16 by 16. Once again, this minus this whole square, divide by 36. 34 minus 36 minus 2 whole square is 4 by 36 10 minus 12 minus 2 again whole square is 4 4 by 12 20 minus 16 4 4 square is 16 16 by 16 is 1 of course now if you take the sum of all this 1.45 just like the t calculated value you get chi square calculated value which is 1.45 just like t distribution you have got here table i'll show that table for 95 percentage of confidence for three degrees of freedom that is two degrees of freedom because one two three is n n minus one is two for two degrees of freedom for 95 percent confidence table value is 5.99 calculated value is 1.45 table value is 5.99 we shall see how it is 5.99 but one calculated value is less than table value that's why accepted the genetic model is true for this sample also now remains to tell that or show that why this how this 5.99 has come so let us take this uh, table of chi square distribution this is the chi square distribution table so we have got two degrees of freedom for 95 percent confidence limit 95 percent confidence limit two degrees of, degrees of freedom which is for 95 percent confidence 0 0.05 level of significance you have to take which is 5.99 remember this word 5.99 so 95 percent means point opposite 1 minus 95 1 minus 0.95 is 0 0.05 like that you have to take 99 percentage means 0 0.99 which is 1 minus 0 0.99 is 0 0.01 level of significance so 0 0.05 level of significance is equivalent to 95 percent we are talking confidently two degrees of freedom 95 percent confidence 5.99 which we had noted here 5.99 that we used for our first example 5.99 was our table value this was a 5.99 once again the first example observed frequencies expected frequencies chi square value calculated is 1.45 chi square table value for 95 percent confidence for two degrees of freedom because n minus one degrees of freedom one two three categories that's why three categories minus one two degrees of freedom we got table value 5.99 chi square calculated less than chi square table that's why h naught accepted so here we had forgotten to make h naught h naught is the observed frequencies tally 
the expected frequencies or theory and data are same so what is the test whether the die is whether the sorry whether the theory is consistent with the whether the model is consistent with the theory h not you can frame as model is consistent with the theory or observed frequencies match with the expected frequencies h not accepted genetic model is accepted similarly now fit a poisson distribution for the following data and test whether that poisson distribution is good for it or not now many a times we feel whether the poisson distribution is correct or binomial distribution is correct or which distribution is correct for that there is a testing method here so given any data suppose how to fit a poisson distribution that is this is practical distribution expected is suppose it is following a poisson model what is a poisson model in the beginning more afterwards it will it will go on decreasing but number of x equal to 0 1 2 3 4 suddenly there will be suddenly there will be decrease after 0 1 something like that now what is the hypothesis this is good for poisson distribution is a good fit now how to fit a poisson distribution for that you need a mean of this mean is summation fx by summation f this should be summation f where summation f is addition of all this 122 plus 60 plus 15 plus 2 plus 1 which is 200 what is summation fx 0 into 122 1 into 60 2 into 15 f into x f into x this into this this into this 15 into 2 2 into 3 1 into 4 divided by summation f correction here so 0.5 is the average that is average is between 0 and 1 naturally because maximum number of values are clustered here only 0.5 how to fit a Poisson distribution? This is taken as m value. M is 0.5. In this, uh, in this uh, e raise to minus m, m is 0.5. M is 0.5. X is a variable. So p of x is probability that this is going to be one. This is going to be two. Is this value? Now for 200 numbers, how to find observed frequencies? 200 into corresponding probability value. For example, for x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, how do we find these are the OI values, observed frequencies? How do we find EI values? This we have already fit the data for Poisson distribution into n. n into that is 200 into this is the value for instead of f, these are the values. For example, when it is n equal to 0, x equal to 0, how do we find instead of f, what is the value we are going to get? t of 0 means 0 factorial 0 here so 0 0.5 raised to 0 is 1 this in 0 factorial is 1 e raised to 0 0.5 you have to use calculator e raised to minus 0 0.5 into 200 e raised to minus 0 0.5 into 200 becomes 121 so instead of 122 we get 121 when i put 1 here 0 0.5 raised to 1 1 factorial e raised to minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 200 you get 61 instead of 60 you get 61 similarly by putting x equal to 2 3 x equal to 2 3 4 we are going to get x equal to 2 we are going to get 15 x equal to 3 we are going to get 3 x equal to 4 we are going to get 0 almost so observed frequencies are 122 60 15 to 1 122 60 15 to 1 except expected frequencies 121 61 15, 3, 0, 15, 3, 121, 61, 15, 3, 0. Now, chi square test stick is on adding the frequencies less than 5. See, what we do here is if we, there is a very small frequency like 2 and 1, we may try to make it a little bigger. So, like 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 0 is 3. By that, we shrink the number of frequencies, number of values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Instead of that, it becomes 4 values. 1, 22, 60, 15, not touched. 2 plus this last two blocks are merged. Last only last two blocks. Last two blocks are merged for OIs and EIs both. 2 plus 1 equal to 3 and 3 plus 0 equal to 3. So we neglect the previous table and start using this. 122 minus 121 whole square divided by 121 plus. 60 minus 61 whole square divided by 61 plus 15 minus 15 whole square divided by 15 this is 0 3 minus 3 whole square divided by 3 0 so that once again what we have to do oi minus ei oi minus ei 122 minus 121 whole square 
डिवाइड बाय 121 प्लस 60 माइनस 61 60 माइनस 61 होल स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय 61 एंड सो ऑन सो व्हेन यू ऐड ऑल दिस वैल्यूज लाइक दैट यू विल गेट 0 0.025 व्हाट इज द डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम आइदर दिस माइनस 2 बिकॉज़ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव दिस टू मर्जड और दिस माइनस 1 so since we are going to merging is one one data lost and already n minus 1 is there one more minus 1 data lost so that totally pi minus 2 or 4 minus 1 which is a 3 degrees of freedom here little different because of merging we lose one more degrees of freedom so that instead of 4 degrees of freedom we consider 3 degrees of freedom for 95% level of confidence 7.815 either this data will be given in the question or you have to use Okay, square distribution table for three degrees of freedom, 95% confidence, 7.82, 7.82. Okay, once again, I'll show you for three degrees of freedom, for three degrees of freedom, for 95% confidence, and this is data which is to be used 7.8 should be used 82 should be used as a table value so when i go back to that example now when i go back to that example which we are using it as 7.82 7.815 so calculated value is 0 0.025 chi square distribution value is 7.815 calculated value less than Table value H not accepted. So whatever the Poisson distribution we have assumed is quite good fit for this. So goodness of fit is tested. Poisson distribution is good fit. Once again, but how to frame the hypothesis? Whether the Poisson is a good distribution? Yes. H not tells that Poisson distribution is good fit. Now, using data we find average of this, which is M. That average we write here M equal to 0.5. M equal to 0.5 and total 200 total is 200 if it is total is different you have to multiply by different total total is 200 into 200 into this becomes the curve expected that is theoretical frequencies theoretical curve and actual curve observed frequencies so theoretically also we calculate these values 121 61 15 something like that but before that we merge we merge these two values because these frequencies are less than less than three that's why we merge these values before calculating final value so that theoretical frequencies for x equal to zero x equal to one x equal to two just simplify put go on putting x equal to zero here x equal to one x equal to two x equal to three x equal to four which are 121 61 15 30 so observed expected merge data final data one two three four oi minus ei for one two three four data this statistic is found 0 0.025 less than 7.815 because less than that accepted Poisson distribution is good fit. Suppose now coins are tossed 100 times and the following results are obtained. So fit a binomial distribution for the data and test the goodness of it. Now, here actually four coins are tossed. Have a correction here four coins are tossed instead of only coins four first letter four coins are tossed 100 times and the following results are obtained please correct that now when you observe the 100 times tossed frequencies Okay, number of heads out of these four coins, number of heads zero times out of 100, five times it has occurred. No heads out when four coins are tossed. When all the four coins are tossed, never the head has occurred, it has out of 100, five times. Suppose out of four coins, one head has occurred. How many times? 29 times. This is according to the practically once done. You take four coins and go on tossing totally 100 times. Out of 100 times, all the four coins you have to toss. First time all the four coins, second time all the four coins, hundredth time also all the four coins. So when you do that, how many heads are falling each time you have to find? First time 
second time, hundred time. Out of that, zero number of heads have occurred five times. One number of heads have occurred twenty-nine times. Two number of heads thirty-six times. Three number of heads twenty-five times. Four number of heads five times. All the four coins, every time you are tossing, four times you toss the first time. Four coins you toss second time. Four coins you toss the hundredth time. So out of hundred times. Zero heads, one heads, two heads, three heads, four heads. It has occurred like this. So whether the binomial distribution is a good fit for this or not, how to test it? Test whether the binomial distribution is. See, fit a binomial distribution and test the goodness of it. That means whether the binomial distribution is a good fit or not for this. So for sometimes in the examination such things are given. So for four degrees of freedom means one, two, three, four, five is the number of Values n equal to five, and n minus one is four degrees of freedom for ninety-five degrees of confidence, or point zero five level of significance. If you see the table nine point four nine, you'll get. Now, first of all, frame the hypothesis. For hypothesis, also usually one mark will be given to you. Binomial distribution is good fit. If the hypothesis is rejected at the end, hypothesis binomial distribution is not a good fit. You have to conclude. Now, for this for this binomial distribution also, first find mean. F into x. This is our x. This is our f. F x. F x. F x. F x. F x. Five into zero. Zero. Twenty nine into one. Twenty nine. Thirty six into two. Seventy two. Twenty five into three. Seventy five. Five into four. That is f x. You have to find. Divide by summation f. Divide by. If you add all this, you will get summation f is hundred. So mean is mu equal to one point nine six or m equal to one point nine six. But in binomial distribution, n into p. That is probability. Of getting any one of these, whenever you throw anything, suppose getting three heads is a probability. Three by twenty-five is the probability, but that probability on an average probability is point four nine. So what is p? Mu upon n. Mu is one point nine six upon n is four because four heads are four coins are tossed. So now p when you calculate and point four nine q is one point four one point my one minus p one minus point four nine. Which is 0.51. That is 0.49 is p. 0.51 is q. P plus q is always one. S plus no possibility is always one like that. So n is four because four number of points. N c 4 c x 0.49 raised to x. This is a binomial distribution probability. 0.51 raised to 4 minus x. 400 times you are tossing. That's why 100 into that becomes our fitting of binomial. Curve. Now for x equal to zero, one, two, three, four, you find theoretical values. X equal to zero. When you put zero here, four c zero point four nine raised to zero point five one raised to four minus zero into hundred. You have to use calculator and find. So for t of zero, t of one, t of two, seven, twenty six, thirty seven, twenty four, six. So this is seven, twenty six, thirty seven, twenty four, six are found. The original data is observed frequencies. Actually found is 5, 29, 36, 25, 5. Observed, expected. Expected means theoretical frequencies. After fitting binomial distribution, you have found zero number of heads out of 200 times, seven times falling according to theory. Okay, four number of heads, six times falling according to theory. So this is zero number of heads, one number of heads, two number of heads, three number of heads, all the four coins heads. Zero coins. Showing heads, one coin showing heads, two coin showing heads, three coin showing heads, four coin showing heads. Theory, practical, chi square, statistic, chi square calculated value five minus seven whole square, four upon seven, five minus seven is two, two square is four, four by seven is the first value, twenty nine minus twenty six, which is three, three square is nine, nine by twenty six is the third value, thirty six minus thirty seven. Which is one minus one minus one whole square is plus one one by thirty seven. Again twenty five minus twenty four whole square is one one by twenty four. Five minus six one one by six. So here you are going to get five minus seven two two square. First one is four by seven. Second one is nine by twenty six. Third one is one by thirty one. Fourth one is one by twenty four. Fifth one is one by Six. If you add all this, you are going to get 1.15. Put the values here. OI is corresponding OI, corresponding EI, and corresponding EI, so that 
1.15 you have to compare with chi square calculated value for 4 degrees of freedom totally 1 2 3 4 5 so 4 5 minus on 4 degrees of freedom 9.49 1.15 is less than 9.49 whatever the theory is there we accept accept theory means whatever the hypothesis is there we accept accepted hypothesis means we made the hypothesis that binomial distribution is a good fit for this we can apply binomial distribution to study this so that is the hypothesis so binomial distribution is a good fit is accepted next one a die is thrown 150 times die means for snake and ladder you use that where one two three four five six in each block you are going to have so that following frequencies are given already expected and uh, observed frequencies are given you test the hypothesis that die is unbiased so that similarly you have to do very very similarly you have to do answers are given please try x calculated x value is given of course uh, die is unbiased because this is less than this similarly example number six example number seven example number six also you can try because answers are given i will come to the almost last example where it is little different now carefully read this very interesting last example if the standard deviation of lifetimes of a television tubes suppose television tubes are collected they have got lifetime lifetime is a variable one television tube 20 36 months one more television tube suppose in terms of hours i talk one television tube burns for 150 hours one more 160 hours like that it is a variable so there is a standard deviation there is a mean for that if the standard deviation of lifetimes of a television tubes so what is the variable lifetime is a variable x is lifetime of television tube so that that is having average lifetime is having average of 100 hours x is having average of 100 hours with the standard deviation okay standard deviation is 100 hours okay how large a sample must be taken in order to be 99 percent confident that the error estimated regarding lifetime will not exceed 20 hours okay so now standard company is having this standard deviation is 100 hours for 99 what should be n is asked here usually sample size is not asked here sample size is asked so now for 99 percent confidence limits are asked so note down sigma is given for 99 percent confidence limits x bar plus or minus 2.58 sigma by root n this is common so in one of the examples we had found confidence limits x bar minus this is uh, left side x bar plus this is right side that is lower and upper limits of the confidence limits here if i take error of estimation is 2.58 instead of this 2.58 sigma by root 10 only this part is error of estimation 2.58 sigma by root 10 so error of estimation is please note down 2.58 sigma by root 10 when i substitute here 2.58 100 is given as sigma n is to be found 258 by root 10 this should not exceed 20 does not this should not exceed this should not exceed 20 error of estimate which is only this part this part for 99 percent confidence limit error of estimate is this for 95 percent confidence limit error of estimate will be here 1.96 okay that you take it as a homework instead of 99 you take it as 95 instead of 2.58 you make it as 1.96 now error of estimate 2.58 sigma by root 10 is calculated as 258 by root 10 this should not be greater than 20 means this can be less than or equal to 20 using this you transfer 20 here root 10 here 258 by 20 is less than or equal to root 10 or root 10 should be 258 by 20 or n should be greater than or equal to 166 or minimum 167 the size should be minimum 167 if the sample size is minimum 167 then we can tell that our whatever the error is there standard deviation error is there it will never exceed 20 we are more safe so whenever you are sending a sample to any other uh, dealer you should send a sample of 167 these are the these are all the techniques of the company so here instead of asking some different hypothesis testing the minimum the minimum sample size is asked minimum sample size is 167 if you take more than 167 also you are more safe okay this is all about testing of the chi square test to sum up with we starting with the z equal to x bar minus mu by sigma by root n 
in sampling and testing of hypothesis which which helps us to see that whether a sample belongs to the main population or not for larger samples more than 30 for smaller sample t distribution you used where the degrees of freedom was n minus 1 and there was no degrees of freedom for the first part of the examples you just noted for t distribution and for chi square distribution only we use the degrees of freedom and we use the table of course normal distribution distribution tables are available for that also for any random instead of 95% 99% some other percentage is asked you have to depend on the random table only now for chi square distribution is mainly different type whether the given data is following certain theoretical law or not like the pig example or the gregor mendel example you can go through some books similar examples are given try to do all those examples next is whether the binomial distribution is a correct distribution or not whether the poisson distribution is correct distribution or not so according to the observation we are testing at last what should be the minimum sample size for the company you can tell so that whatever we are going to uh, hold that error will be not uh, found and all that so that minimum sample if you take only one uh, tube suppose you found you test only one item you send then it may be very bad item that time you cannot conclude anything if your sample size is something like 167 200 out of that many will be good like that minimum sample size also can be found which is the last example we found so different varieties of examples are done please go through different examples in your books available also or observe these without looking to these notes also try to attempt these examples at of your own and wish you all the best my dear students and you can connect to me via zoom app or in the internet and uh, on our website my mobile number is there anytime you can ring and contact me wish you all safe 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 time be safe at home don't go unnecessarily outside till everything becomes okay thank you so much for being with me for a fantastic uh, topic like sampling distribution and testing hypothesis of course it is a very big topic in a nutshell examination oriented only examples we have discussed because examples for examinations i thought are more important please do these do these examples only again and again once you do perfect with these examples you can go through any examples any other examples thank you so much for being with me for these three lectures thank you so much here professor ampuri signing off you can download zoom app in your mobile and uh, uh, laptops and uh, connect to us or you can see these lectures on kls youtube see you thank you so much thanks help others help yourself for being safe see you bye